Hey, happy Switch Miss friends. It's Tucker here, your friendly neighborhood nerd, and today we're going to take a look at Zelda Breath of the Wild in handheld mode on the Nintendo Switch. Gotta press the button three times to get back in, and here we are. I've pretty much just started things out and just thought that I would give everyone some uh, impressions on the game and the system as well, especially in handheld mode. All right, funny enough, oh, just an ax just sitting right there. Already coming across all kinds of weapons. Well, mostly sticks, but. I believe I can switch weapons this way, all right. Yeah, so this morning, gosh, we're probably gonna end up doing this whole thing in voiceover, it would, would probably be better, but. Uh, let's see. Ooh, an acorn. <laughs> All of these items, it seems, have uh, just just a nice little uh, description. It's often kind of cute, maybe a little bit witty, kind of funny sometimes even. Uh, I definitely appreciate that, even though it's not a huge deal. Um, so this morning, I actually, uh, my first experience with the Nintendo Switch... Can I jump out and get this? Shoot, I don't even know how to jump. Oh, there we go. That would have done it. Let's climb back up. Uh, my first experience with a Nintendo Nintendo Switch was um, downstairs. Uh, gosh, this is terrible. I really want that apple, though, guys. Oh, oh that is lame. Okay, I'm going to leave it. But I was downstairs, and ultimately Zelda came in a little bit more quickly than I thought it was going to. And I was getting ready to make breakfast, and I was like, well, why not break out Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch that I already had and had done the unboxing for. Uh, oh. How do I lock on? We're flying, okay, so he left that for me. Can I jump and hit him? Oh, the camera distance. What's he doing? I'm kind of kind of worried here. Um. Anyway, I just my first few minutes were in handheld mode with the uh, with the Switch and Breath of the Wild as I was making breakfast. Because how could you pass that up, right? I mean, that's pretty much exactly what this Nintendo Switch is for. It's kind of loud. I do have that volume maxed out though. But this little bokoblin is running away from me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, I've got to find this guy now. There's somebody. There is just, it feels like there is so much to do already. It's its almost a little bit overwhelming, but it's more exciting than overwhelming for sure. Ooh, okay. Okay, all right. How do I dodge back? That's what I want to know. A little Boko Club. I found myself wanting to read the item descriptions for everything. First enemy down. And I've got to say, like, it works really well in handheld mode. I, I don't, um... I don't have any complaints, really. Uh, you know, initially, you'll, you'll have heard in the unboxing video. Oh, gosh. Well, that was easy. Take that. Choo choo jelly, a gelatinous substance that came from a choo choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. So, put it in the fire is what they're telling me to do. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, give it to me. Okay, um, yeah, in my unboxing video, I mentioned how, you know, the, I wasn't sure about the controllers and how they felt. I mean, they don't feel bad, they just. I don't know. I, I, I wasn't too sure about how much I was going to. I guess how I thought it was going to feel, really playing it. Um, and in fact, I have not plugged this thing in yet to my TV because I, all of my worries were completely unfounded. Um, while I do think this is a console first and foremost and it just has this awesome ability to go with you wherever you are, uh, more or less, um, you know, that's kind of the secondary form. Uh, 
it, it works extremely well in handheld mode, which you might have already known that, but uh, just my two cents. I've got no problems with this, and, and it being light, I mentioned that it felt really, really extremely light, lighter than I expected. I have so many tree branches. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Do I really have 12? I thought 12 was the max. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. Maybe I can upgrade that later. Maybe also I shouldn't be using my axe right now. Let's use a... Let's use a branch again. But yeah, it, it really does feel pretty good. I, I find that I'm wanting to move my hand down a little bit, like kind of uh, not grip it up here, but instead get here so my thumb isn't all cramped up because this is kind of a strange positioning for the Joy-Con. Um, so it helps to kind of remove as much of this angle to your thumb as possible. At least it helps me. Uh, maybe I'm an old man. Ooh, that looks like a rock that needs to be pushed off a cliff. Mm. So anyways, guys, this is going to be a pretty short video. Definitely going to keep it under 10 minutes. I've got a clock running and everything, trying to be very diligent. Um, just want to let you know that the Switch does feel extremely good in handheld mode. The screen looks great. Um, it doesn't look like there's going to be probably many touch controls. I just hadn't thought about trying that out until just now. Uh, but in Breath of the Wild, maybe some for puzzles and stuff like that. I could see how maybe runes would come in handy, but I guess... You know they can't have it only work for for one version uh you know just for handheld mode but not for ooh got him that is awesome have it work just for handheld mode the the touch screen have features for that but then it not work when you have it plugged in on your screen and again i really kind of think that that is the the main uh way to play with your switch that's, that's how i'm going to be playing with it uh, most often, I would say. But again, it's going to be really sweet to be able to just take these console games with me wherever I go and hopefully eventually a lot of sweet virtual uh, console content. Uh, we're all, I know, very, very hopeful about what direction Nintendo's going to go in with that. I guess I should talk more about Zelda since this is really the gem of the Nintendo lineup right now. Uh, I mean, look for yourself. It's, it's beautiful. I've been playing a lot of Ocarina of Time lately. And it's really kind of messed me up on the controls, in fact, just because uh, <laughs> I keep forgetting that, that I have a second analog stick. Um, and expecting the camera to just kind of pan around for me. But, um, God, this game is just beautiful. And I know part of that's because I've just been playing lots of Ocarina of Time lately. And it's clearly a very different looking game, considering it was made, what, like, it came out in like, is it 99, I think, that it came out in? So... That is a very old game. I mean, almost 20 years old, Ocarina of Time. But uh, this game is just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to spend some more time. As soon as I uh, turn off this video, I'm definitely going to go and plug this thing into my TV, get these Joy-Cons into their Joy-Con grip, and see how that feels. I'm hoping it feels pretty great, even though I'm sure I'll eventually pick up a Pro Controller. Um, I'll be sure and uh, give you all some information about that if I do. But I think for now, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Uh, before I get killed by these Bokoblins, I'm not very good so far. Oop, look at that. I was going to say I'm not very good at playing and talking at the same time. You've probably noticed that. It is actually quite hard. It's the first time I've ever tried to do it, actually. Ooh! So I am going to beat this Bokoblin really fast. Very fast. By just smacking him continuously. And then again, yeah, I'm going to wrap things up there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Uh, if you feel you've been at all entertained, informed, or enlightened, do consider giving us a thumbs up, maybe even hitting that subscribe button. The two of us over here at Atypical Nerding would be much obliged. And of course, for more coverage on the Nintendo Switch, keep it tuned to ATN. Much love, everyone. Nerd out.